Dear students, in this study, we will talk about the embiosis in eukaryotic evolution. Now, what is symbiosis? As you are aware that symbiosis is actually a beneficial relationship between two organisms in which both organisms benefit each other. Now, endosymbiosis is a process in which one organism is engulfed inside the other organisms and both with the evolution of uh, uh, the process of evolution, both of the organisms, they are benefiting from each other. The same thing happens with protists. Protists are uh, thought to be uh, the prokaryotes with the, who, with the course of evolution, they engulf uh, different other prokaryotes and that resulted in uh, evolutionary process and great diversity in the protists. Protist. Now, what happened that uh, the, the first of the uh, example is that, first of all, uh, those prokaryotic, the, uh, the ancestors of protists, they acquired somehow uh, mitochondria. Mitochondria was actually uh, prokaryotes uh, you can say it, it, it's a type of alpha proteobacteria which somehow come in contact with the protist and protist engulf it and it became the part of it. And uh, due to this one, protist have diversified uh, uh, with the course of this evolution. Now, in uh, photoautotrophic uh, endosymbionts, uh, protist, when we talk about them, we see that uh, some cyanobacteria, they came in close contact with the, uh, the protist and ultimately became the integral part of these protists and started synthesizing food with the help of sunlight. And it resulted in a great multicellularity, cell specialization, and large size in the phylum protista. These, uh, uh, these different uh, aspects uh, gave uh, a huge diversity of animals, plants, and fungi later in this earth in these different ecosystems. Now, this diagram explains a lot. Just see that uh, we had uh, two different prokaryotes. One was large one, the other was small one. So what happened that with the course of evolution, the small bacteria got engulfed by the large one and somehow it survived and become the important part of this large bacteria. So ultimately, when it started dividing, that become the integral part of that bacteria on, and both started benefiting each other with the course of evolution. So this is a prime example of endosymbiosis in which you can see that this bacteria or a prokaryotes that diversified and that become a eukaryotic organisms with multiple cellular organelles.